Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be continuing um, trigonometric identities that we learned the new sum and difference uh, formulas. And today we're going to be doing something different, right? We got, before we used we had like one a singular um, trigonometric um, function, right? Like cosine or sine. And then uh, we were given one singular angle. Now we're given the entire equation that we did split uh, before, right? So now we're kind of working backwards. So cosine so what do we see here it's cosine of 160 degrees times cosine of 40 degrees times plus sine of 160 degrees and sine of 40 degrees so this is a pretty simple problem right because we can just look at what we have and then um we'll be able to you know solve this pretty easy so because we have our formulas written down here so um what can we so let's just say 160 degrees let's say that's a right and 40 degrees that that's b because um everything here is is uh made from a and b right so um, and uh, we can just like see so uh, like look out for some you know patterns here, right? This is a plus sign in the middle, right? There's also a plus sign here, and since uh, it starts with cosine and it's cosine uh, a cosine b plus sine a sine b, right? Which of these match, right? Well, um, sine a cosine b. Well, that definitely doesn't match, right? Because there's a um cosine here, so it can't be a sine. And then since there's a negative here then we only, we're only we only left with one option, which is the cosine of a minus b. So, cosine of, well, what did we say was a, what did we say was b? Well, uh, we said a was 160 and b was 40 degrees, right? So, so just cosine of 160 minus 40, which is then going to be um, uh, cosine of um, 120. And now, if we want to um, solve this, so th these are really uh, bad values, right? Like, if this was like, if these are good values that we knew, we could easily solve that, right? But now, we're going to uh, solve using what we simplified it into and use our own values. So, cosine of 120, we can rewrite it as cosine of um, 90 degrees and 30 degrees, right? And we have both those values here. So, uh, cosine of 120, uh, addition formula, right? So, it's... Uh, cos 90, cos 30, um, minus sine 90, sine 30, right? Uh, sorry if that's not, if that's pretty small, but I'm gonna write, I'm gonna simplify here. So, um, cosine of 90 is what? Um, that's zero, right? Zero times anything is just zero, so we don't have to solve for the rest of it, right? Zero minus sine of 90 is one, one times... Uh, sine of 30 is 1 half, right? Right, and then this is then just going to be 0 minus 1 times 1 half, which is just negative 1 half. And yeah, there you go. We've simplified this. Thank you. Hope you learned something.